Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Happy Monday and thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Cynthia Puga. We begin with top story sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A three-day police standoff in a Henderson neighborhood ended when the armed and barricaded subject was found dead. There are no injuries to officers or the suspect and negotiations are ongoing. The identity of the barricaded person wasn't released as of Sunday, but residents in the townhomes on Callan Falls Avenue say it appears that he was a young man named Trevor. They say police negotiators kept addressing the subject by that name. It's not yet clear how he died, but you can visit LVRJ.com to stay up to date as more details are released. And O.J. Simpson's longtime lawyer and executor of his estate says he will fight to prevent the payout of a $33.5 million judgment. This money was awarded to the families of his ex-wife Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman. During a phone interview with the Review Journal, attorney Malcolm Laverne said, It's my hope that the Goldmans get zero, nothing, and I will do everything in my capacity to try and ensure that they get nothing. I would not have expected Joe to do this. This is what a longtime friend of the gunman who killed two people in a Summerlin law office said about him. RJ's Arlette Youssef has more on how Joseph Houston II was known as. Longtime friends and colleagues of Joseph Houston II say they are struggling to understand what drove Houston to repeatedly shoot Ashley Prince, his former daughter-in-law and her new husband, attorney Dennis Prince and then turning the gun on himself during a deposition at Prince's law office in Summerlin. John Mowbray, a longtime Las Vegas lawyer who had known Houston since he was a law clerk in 1976, said, Of all the lawyers in town, I would not have expected Joe to do this. Yet some friends also described a different side to Houston, especially in court. Longtime friend Lewis Snyder said, quote, Joe was also pretty darn mean in court and that they fought like caged animals before a judge when they were on opposite sides in a divorce case. Days before the deposition, Houston had learned that his cancer, which had appeared to go into retreat, had returned. In weather sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Warm and sunny skies to start off your work week with temperatures reaching mid-70s and a bit breezy with winds reaching up to 10 miles per hour. We'll be getting a taste of that summer heat the rest of the week as temperatures rise into the 80s and reaching up to the 90s. Sunny skies for the majority of the week, but we will be seeing partly cloudy skies for the end of the week on Thursday and on Friday. Time for your business update sponsored by the NAB Show where content comes to life. Get your tickets at nabshow.com. And Nevada has the 13th highest real estate commission rate in the country. Now this is according to a new study conducted by Clever Real Estate. The survey found that the average commission rate runs about 5.8%, which is above the national average of 5.4%. And the study also shows that the listing agent of the property usually receives around 2.8% and the buyer's agent gets 2.6%. For the full list of real estate commissions, you can visit lvrj.com forward slash business. Now for your sports update brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. The Vegas Golden Knights keeping the good times rolling Sunday after a comeback win over the Colorado Avalanche. The VGK faced a 3-0 deficit heading into the third period, but a three-goal explosion, two of which from William Carlson, took the game to overtime where in the extra frame, Tomas Hurdle, the Ninja Hurdle, buried the game-winning goal and his second goal in back-to-back -back games with Vegas. Next for the VGK, the Chicago Blackhawks on Tuesday. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. A visitor to Las Vegas during the first week of April may have exposed others to measles. This is according to the Southern Nevada Health District. The person stayed at MGM Grand from April 1st to the 6th, but the health district does not have information about the person's immunization status or current condition. A few specific locations where others could have been exposed are listed on this article at LVRJ.com. Sports betting brought to you by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Giannis Antetokounmpo's status to open the NBA playoffs is uncertain after he strained his calf in the third quarter against Boston last week. The Bucs star set out the final three games of the season due to his injury, with the Bucs going 1-2 in that stretch. 
Prior to the injury, Milwaukee was a plus 850 third choice on BetMGM's NBA Finals Futures Odds Board. They've now slid to the fourth choice. Boston was plus 185, and the defending champion Denver Nuggets was number two at plus 320. The Bucks are now plus 1300 following the injury. Now for Lifestyle, sponsored by Atomic Golf, now open next to the Strat. The Vegas Golden Knights will once again help local residents by giving away free gas this week. The team will offer $20,000 worth of free gas on April 17th, and it'll begin at 7.30 in the morning at Smith's Fuel Center on West Warm Springs Road. The first 400 cars will receive $50 of free gas. Smith is also offering a discount of 20 cents per gallon to all customers at this specific location from April 17th through the 19th. The giveaways are all a part of the Knights Fan Appreciation Week. In entertainment sponsored by Arizona Charlie's as live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. And a big festival might be moving downtown this year. Review Journal's John Katsilamidis has more on the big change. The Life is Beautiful Festival is heading back downtown in September, but not the way we are used to seeing it. It won't be over the 18 city blocks as it has been in the past. Instead, look for it to open at the plaza maybe the last week in September. This is according to sources familiar with the plans. The plaza has up to 20 acres on its property where the festival can perform. Look for more details to be announced. Thanks for watching 7 at 7. Don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel or look us up on these streaming platforms. You can also follow us on our social media pages to stay up to date with the latest news. Join us tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.